Hey everyone, welcome to another video of mine. So, um, this will be my first impressions on um, Injustice 2. So, first things first, I, 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 cause I've played the whole storyline so far, or story mode, uh, from start to finish, and I like it. Um, I like the storyline. I like what they did with it. Um, the only problem I have with it is that if, say, you wanted to go back and uh, do the second way the the game could end, you have to start from the beginning again. And to, to be honest, most people would not want to do that, in my opinion at least. So I think that's one downside that you have for this game. Um, also, I like the uh, multiverse uh, thing that you have. Um, I think I think that's cool. Um, one thing I don't like though is uh, not about the multiverse, but about the characters in general. Uh, the reverse flash uh, has the exact same move, like finisher-wise move, as the regular flash. Which in my, or the special move, I guess you call it, has the same as the flash, which in my opinion is stupid. You are wasting, you wasted a good thing for the game. What you could have done was, even if it was the exact same, you could have had um, instead of a dinosaur and a, a Egyptian pyramid type thing, you could have had. S uh, something to do with the future and then another thing that had to do with the future or an alternate timeline or something like that and that could have been uh, like good enough like in my opinion at least I mean yes people will complain but at least it would be different and that's the thing it that's that's my big thing um, with the gear I feel like when I first started out, I feel I felt like you uh, didn't really have much in the way of gear for people who are just starting out with level one, two, three, and so on. Um, but when I realized that once you play the game more, uh, you will get more for your character, and once you've level uh, gone to the next level, uh, then you're golden. Now, the one thing I am confused about is that there's two different types of levels. There's a level for just the the user, and then there's uh, one for all the all the different characters. Like each character has different volumes. So, do is it just the user that uh, can go up to uh, level one hundred, or is it also the characters? That can go to up to eleven, uh, up to a level a hundred, or is just each character can go up to uh, level twenty and then that's it. That's what I like to know, because um, I was kind of confused on that. So if someone could uh, that either has gotten to that point already, uh, could let me know. That'd be awesome. Let me know in the, the comments down below. Um, what else? Um, I kind of wish, since they actually had the reverse flash in the story mode, to, that they would actually have him as a character, or as a playable character, um, right now, in my opinion. I mean, maybe I missed him in uh, when I was playing the game, but um, as far as I know, you can't actually play him. You can... Uh, in the story mode, you can play against him, but you can't actually play him, which doesn't make any sense. I don't know. I thought it was pretty cool how they had Power Girl and Supergirl in the same character type of thing, because they're pretty much the same in a way, just different universes, so that was pretty cool. So you can choose um, when you're uh, editing your character whether you want her to be Power Girl or Supergirl. But I think you have to get to a certain point before you can get to Power Girl. So, there's that. Um, I'm not really familiar with 
the difference between the two besides the being in, from different universes. So there's that. Um, gear wise, I like how you can uh, the, it will change the look of the character and the color and stuff like that and the abilities, which I kind of wish there is a separate way of getting the abilities for the game. Uh, or for, yeah, for the game. But, um, anyways, that's, that's just me. So, um, those are my first impressions. If I think about it, I'll come back and then, uh, tell you what I think about it in a, maybe a more in-depth way when I play the game a little bit longer since it's only been out for about a week, I, about a week or six days or so. Anyways, um... So, and this is going to be one of two uh, giveaways that I'm going to be doing uh, digital copies of Deadpool. Since I already have Deadpool, uh, I, well, what happened was I bought the digital copy of Deadpool. Then I bought the, uh, um, the one that's the regular one. And then I bought the um, Christmas version, which... Uh, both the regular and the Christmas version comes with digital copies. So, this is what I'm going to do. In the com in the uh, description down below, I'm going to write, uh, obviously, the code. And then whoever gets to it first wins. So, this is what you have to do to be able to get, or to be able to, for it to work. One, you have to have an iTunes account. Two, you have to live in Canada. Or three, if you can somehow figure out a way to get it and it still works, uh, then by all means. But if it doesn't, or but if you live somewhere else, then it's most likely not going to work. So there you go. Um, um, like I said, once this is all done, I'm going to leave it in the description down below, and then. Um, I'm only going to leave one of the codes. Uh, the second code will probably be in another video at some point. So anyways, whatever you watch this morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, and goodbye.